Hey guys, it's Harrison with Ormson Aquarium Design. Uh, as promised, I'm going to be doing my video today on the 40 gallon mangrove biotope brackish tank and showing you guys the surprise fish that is replacing Genghis. So uh, I'll get All to right, that so now. So here's the tank and the new fish is already out and about. So this is him. He is a archer fish, one of the coolest fish in the world. And I'm going to be feeding him today and giving you guys a basic overview of the tank. He looks really hungry and I think uh, he might have had some ick from the store. So I bumped up the temperature. It looks like it's getting a little bit better. It's, you can see right there on his tail. He's moving around a lot, but looks like he's got a little something something on there. Uh, I'll head to the fish store, get some uh, ick treatment. Some uh, I haven't figured out what I'm going to buy yet, but I'm going to bump up the temperature and if that doesn't do anything, I'm going to... Go buy some meds for him. But yeah, so the tank is 40 gallon breeder, mangroves, brackish. I bought a bunch of lace rock because I thought that would look good with the mangroves. And it turned out fairly well. It's got some, you know, uh, java moss or java fern in here. I tried java moss, that died off. The salinity was a little high to be fair. It was right around 1.010. And that's... You know, not high, it's low and brackish technically, but still fairly high. Like I said, this tank was anticipated to house my green spotted puffer, Genghis. But now that I've got archers and mollies and some other stuff in here, there was a red cherry shrimp in here the other day, uh, because he loves to eat those. But anyways, I might drop it down to, you know, 1.006 or 1.007 to hopefully be able to keep more plants in here and get a little bit more lush, maybe some some more Valisneria, some plants. I've got these pots in here. It's a terracotta pot right there. There's another one down there, and that one has jungle Valisneria in it. But it's it's more surviving than it is thriving, and I want plants to thrive in here. So I might have to drop a salinity down, and they'll definitely be able to handle it. He'll definitely be able to handle it. He's the only fish I'm really worried about. He They live in brackish in the natural, you know, in nature, so. He should be able to do just fine in a, a low-end brackish tank. But yeah, so I'm going to go thaw out some bloodworms, and I'll come back and show you guys this guy feeding. These are quick little points to be made while those are thawing. Uh, this stand is also all custom built. Some people were asking about it. But um, yeah, if you want to know how to build this stand, this is basically, aside from that and the light stand in the back this is exactly what uh joey you know war Waru joey or the king of diy whatever you want to call him he has videos on these stands it's literally the same thing he uses over here i just improvised it a little bit and did something fairly similar over here and changed it around a little bit to make a double stand to hold that tank so i could use this longer light because i didn't have a light that would fit just this tank I had a light that was longer, so I decided to just put another tank underneath it. I might do a quick little video about this tank later on. Um, it's a no tech setup. It's kind of cool, Monte Carlo. But for now, I'm just going to go back to feeding this guy. I think this stuff is almost thawed out, so it shouldn't be long now. He knows what's up. He sees those blood worms. All right. I'm gonna see if I can hold the bloodworms above the water to get him to spit. Right now, it's not like a solid stream like you've probably seen in documentaries and stuff because he's a little guy, but he does get some like little water droplets up there. Let's see if he'll do it. Uh, he just wants me to drop it in. Boom! Crazy! Oh, jeez! Yeah, he's hungry. He uh, hasn't eaten in a few days. Because uh, he's just been super stressed out since I got him. Oh, I thought he was about to spit there. You gonna do it, buddy? Oh, oh, he's jumping. He is really hungry. Awesome. Uh, when I got him, he wasn't eating at first, and it super had me really, really stressed out. Because even my discus, any, any fish that I've really gotten that was supposedly like difficult to keep, I was able to get them feeding within, you know, at least at the most a day. And I guess that's just been luck on my part. But, uh, so he would, he didn't really eat for two days. And then I finally got him to go for some blood. I, I bought some baby crickets. 
and had them all up on the mangroves and he would like come over look at them kind of shoot at them a little bit and then when they fell into the water or if i dropped them into the water he would kind of just come up and bump them and then swim away just really not interested in whatever i had offered him uh, I tried blood worms twice. He didn't really go for those. I didn't try any uh, brine shrimp because I didn't have any at the time. But uh, I asked a friend, a few friends, if I should be worried, and they were like, "No, he's just been moved. Calm down. Stop being crazy. He'll be fine." But then I offered. Uh, oh, he just spit right there. If you saw that, he spit at the the bull right there. Um, but yeah, if when I forgot what I was saying because I just got excited about that. Um, I moved something, or whatever, back to the fish. Let me see if I can get him to spit again. Hmm. Maybe if I put this on the wall. Maybe? Hmm. Nah, I don't think he's gonna do it. There you go, buddy. Completely lost my train of thought. I have no idea what I was talking about a second ago. He's going crazy for these blood worms. Let's see if he sees these. Start spitting at him. Huh? Nope. Hmm. I'll just keep feeding him from the water. But yeah, this is, uh, so that's the archer fish. Pretty cool. Let's see if he, maybe, no. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, he'll do some more. Oh, every time he comes over here. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, come on. Ugh. Every time he comes over there, I'm thinking he's going to spit. Maybe if I put him some more over there. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, I was moving the other day. I rescaped. You can see out there that 55 gallon tank. I might do a video on that later. Uh, just kind of like a jungle, jungle scape. That'll be easier for me to move it to my apartment coming up in a couple weeks <sighs> no but uh so i had a bunch of red cherry shrimp in a bucket and i decided i had fed red cherry shrimp to other sh fish before and that really got their appetite back up and got them like moving because you know it's a, a prey item they're actually hunting the red cherry shrimp so i dropped a few in there he went crazy for them i tried a few more and he eventually just kind of lost interest and uh they actually lived in here for a few days. I can't see any right now. I haven't seen any yet, but the they survived in this kind of low-end brackish setup for a while. But yeah, so the next day I tried some more blood worms and he kept attacking them like they were the red cherry shrimp because it's the same color. But now he's just hungry enough to where he'll eat anything that I put in there. I dropped a few of these cobalt discus pellets in there. He ate a few of those. He tried to eat one of these Omega ones, but as you know, the Omega ones is super super hard pellet so he chewed on it for a little bit and then spit it back out um so i went back to blood worms today and he is loving them oh there he goes there he goes that was cool good boy i'm thinking the the older he gets probably the more he's gonna spit on documentaries on stuff that I've seen in the wild of these guys typically when they're young they're not very good at it so they'll like follow older archers around and kind of steal food from them until they're they have a big enough stream and stuff to be able to hunt on their own so I'm hoping as he gets older and a little bit more mature he'll get better at that and I'll be able to put you know bugs and stuff on the leaves and make videos of that stuff and show you guys right now he's jumping and stuff very energetic fish. He's very cool. Um, quickly, he's a lot of personality for a fish like this. He is a predator, so I mean, that's to be expected pretty much, but he has definitely exceeded my expectations for how cool he was going to be. But yeah, so 
That is the new fish. This is the new tank. And thanks for watching.